welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids in this lecture we are going to learn about parallel axis theorem outline of this session in this session we will learn about parallel axis theorem so let us start it here one plane area is there which is having area a this point is centroid of the lamina this is the centroidal axis parallel to x axis passing through the centroid of the lamina so it is centroidal x x axis here this is one axis which is parallel to centroidal axis but it is some distance away from the centroidal axis according to parallel axis theorem if moment of inertia of this plane lamina about centroidal axis xx is known the moment of inertia of this lamina about eb axis can be determined using the parallel axis theorem so parallel axis theorem is useful when the moment of inertia about any one axis is known and we want to determine the moment of inertia of the same lamina about some other axis which is parallel to the axis this is a lamina which is having area a this point is centroid of the lamina this is centroidal axis passing through the centroid of the lamina this is one more axis which is parallel to centroidal axis now if the moment of inertia of this lamina about centroidal axis is known then the moment of inertia of this lamina about eb axis can be determined using parallel axis theorem so let us try to see the statement of parallel axis theorem so this is the statement of parallel axis theorem it state that if the moment of inertia of a plane area about an axis in the plane of area through the cg of the plane area be represented by ig then the moment of inertia of the given plane area about a parallel axis ab in the plane of area at a distance h from the cg of area is given by iab is equal to ig plus ah square so according to parallel axis theorem the moment of inertia of this lamina about its centroidal axis is ig and the moment of inertia of this lamina about the axis parallel to the centroidal axis in the plane of lamina which is at h distance from the centroidal axis that is iab so according to parallel axis theorem iab that is equal to ig plus ah square where a is equal to area of the lamina h is the distance between in simple word we can say if the moment of inertia of this lamina about the centroidal axis is known then moment of inertia of this lamina about ab axis which is at h distance from centroidal axis can be determined by this equation which is called parallel axis theorem now here so here i ab that is moment of inertia of given area about eb axis i g that is moment of inertia of given area about centroidal center of gravity cg a is equal to area of the section and h is the distance between the two parallel axis xx and ab now let us try to prove this theorem consider a lamina having the area a as shown in figure here xx is the axis in a plane of lamina which is passing through the centroid of the area ab is the axis in the plane of the area which is parallel to xx axis h is the distance between two parallel axis ab and xx 
Now consider a strip which is parallel to x-axis -x -axis as a distance y from x-axis. -x -axis. The area of strip we can assume is equal to dA. Consider the area of strip as dA. Now we want to determine the moment of inertia of the strip about the centroidal axis xx. -x. So we know that moment of inertia is equal to area into distance into distance. So of inertia of the strip about xx axis is dA into y square. Now from this we will work out the moment of inertia of total area about xx axis. So moment of inertia of total area about xx axis that is equal to ig or it can also be called ix equal to summation of moment of inertia of all such strip so it is equal to summation of da into y square now let us work out moment of inertia of the strip about ab axis now let us work out moment of inertia of this lamina about ab axis so moment of inertia of the area about ab axis that is equal to summation of moment of inertia of strip about ab axis so moment of inertia of the strip about ab axis that is equal to da into h plus y so it will be summation of da into h plus y whole square so expanding this term it will be summation of da h square plus 2hy plus y square now let us further simplify it now here in all these three term h and h square are the constant so it can be taken outside of summation size this equation will become now in this equation summation of da that is equal to total area a so instead of this we can write total area a now according to this equation summation of da into y square can be written as ig or ixx so instead of this term it will be written as ig so now this equation will become so it will simplify like this but here da into y represents the moment of area about this strip about xx axis and summation of da into y represents the moment of total area about xx axis but the moment of total area about xx axis is equal to the product of total area a and the distance of cg of total area from xx axis only here the distance of the centroid of total area and xx axis is zero so this term will be equal to zero substituting this in this equation the final equation will become so this is the required equation of parallel axis theorem if the moment of inertia of area with respect to axis in the plane of area means passing through the centroid of area is known then moment of inertia of the plane area with respect to any parallel axis the plane may be determined by this equation this equation of parallel axis theorem will be very useful during solving the problems thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt or query please write in the comment box i will be there to help you thank you thank you very much